As we celebrate Darwin's 200th birthday, it's important to acknowledge his idea of natural selection. We can find examples of this process in action in our own species. Take this guy. Glass, four ply, bulletproof. Right. No, 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 no. Yeah. Or this one. These clips are from a movie, but based on true stories or urban legends, collected and verified by Wendy Northcutt, founder of the DarwinAwards.com. It's only a very small and exclusive community that can receive the Darwin Award. First, you have to take yourself out of the gene pool, uh, which in most cases means that you're deceased, but occasionally there's a survivor who simply is unable to reproduce anymore. You also have to do something really extraordinarily stupid, not just smoking in bed, but something really foolish. This process begins with submissions to the Darwin Awards website. My audience of about 500,000 people a month vote on the slush pile which ones they like the best. Using materials from the website, she publishes the winners in a book. There are now five Darwin Award books, translated into many languages, plus a movie. I was attracted to Darwin Awards because, you know, yes, they are funny, which is great, but I also saw a kind of poetry in these acts. There is always, you know, the genetic outlier, the one who's going to try something a little different, and it may advance the species, and it may work out or it may not. I think the Darwin Award stories are amazing. They're funny, they're touching, they're sad, they're something I can, I think most people can em empathize with completely. I think you can put yourself in the shoes of almost any one of those people and say, yeah, I can see why that person did it, at the same time saying, how in the heck did this person do this thing? Well, these are public service uh, stories that let people know the ways they might screw up in advance. Sometimes people ask me if the Darwin Awards are really examples of human evolution. And they may be. Uh, the idea is that people might have a genetic predisposition to take foolish risks without looking through all of the consequences. And if this is the case, then yes, Darwin Awards would be examples of uh, small, tiny steps in human evolution. <laughs>